No, it doesn't fly. Hi, I'm Josh, and uh, over there is my other friend, Josh. And uh, have you guys ever heard the adage, um, it flies like a brick? Well, it's been a long time goal, but I think it's time we put that to the test to see what it would take to make a brick fly. And uh, our first design was based off a of dart, and we had limited success. We did get it in the air, but what we had to do to get in the air, just it wasn't uncivilized. So uh, we basically uh, set up some criteria, and that criteria is being able to build it within eight hours, under 100 bucks for the airframe, and uh, generally an easy flying airplane uh, out of common build material. Since the cinder block is a, uh, a build material, uh, we went to uh, Menards and we went ahead and picked up a whole bunch of foam. So with limited success with the first one, we did redesign the airfoil and the wing. I think we're gonna have some good luck here. So uh, let's go ahead and see it. I gotta get my friend here. Come on, Doc. All right, here it is, the biggest scratch build. I've ever seen. Yeah, in, in the shortest amount of time too. Yeah. Yeah, this is like this eight is hour build, right? Eight hour build time. You got it. Crazy. So obviously our first attempt didn't work. Uh, the wing was a little small. Yeah. Well, that was the a second, little, little wrong. The second attempt. Yeah. The, the first attempt was Josh Pixler's idea. Oh, I, I was. I told him it wasn't going to work. Dude. Not enough surface area on the wing. Not really enough power either. But I should have listened. You know, he loves the hobby. You got to give it to him. Yeah. He tried. You know, He's a bigger motor would have fixed that. Four some maybe. Yeah, but. Yeah. So then we went to the second one, okay, so which this was is our other wing. Second one. No, this is the third one. This is the third one. one. Okay. Well, our other wing was the second one. Yes, correct. Let's right. talk about that one. Let's talk about that. The, the first wing of, of the second attempt, yeah, yep. the okay. first wing of the second attempt was uh, based on the dart, and it was an under cambered airfoil, but with us tapering the uh, wingtips here, mm -hmm. it killed a lot of the lift. A lot of the lift spilled off the wingtips. It just wasn't efficient. Yeah. And uh, we did have some limited success, but we ended up having to fly off a hill. Yeah. And uh, we, we, it was more of a controlled glide. It did fly quite nice, but we couldn't gain altitude, and uh, it, was, it, it wasn't good. We couldn't get off a level surface, and that's what you need to fly. Right. So then we upgraded to this. We upgraded this. This is a uh, constant cord wing with an under camber. The nice thing about under camber airfoils is it gives you the maximum amount of lift with the least amount of airspeed. And also we wanted to keep it under an 8 foot wingspan. Okay. And this is actually a full 4 by 8 sheet of pink 3 quarter inch foam. Mm -hmm. And we just simply cut uh, riblets and uh, glued it together. Riblets. Riblets. Yeah, I made up that word. It's like frog sound. As much as we could get out of there, mm -hmm. uh, 32 square feet of wing. And uh, dissipated the uh, 40, what is it? 46, 48 pounds? Yeah, 46 yeah. pounds I think? The cinder, the cinder block's about 27, 29, 29 okay. pounds. Yeah. And you know what? It's a three channel. Two magnetic induction servos in the back. Mm -hmm. Running the elevator, and these are high torque Hobby King magnetic induction. Am I? Is what it says on it. Mission and, impossible. And uh, it works really, really well. Really, really strong servos. Up here, we have a Turner G 5065D. Uh huh. And it's, it's swinging. Yeah, motor. motor. Yeah, we're gonna kill this motor, guys. Don't don't hate on us for this, but um, we are running this off of seven cells, and we're running an inch bigger than it should have on a six cell. So we're gonna fry the motor. Not gonna fry the ADM plus speed control. But the motor after this is probably going to be gone. Don't hate. Yeah, we needed the power. So, mm -hmm. you know, desperate times call for desperate measures, right? That's what and they say. Speaking of power, we also did something else kind of naughty, so don't, don't be mad at us. But we did a four cell and a three cell in series, and we have a mismatched pair. We have a 3,000 milliamp and a 2.65. A four cell, 3,000, 2.65, three cell. Um, don't do it. Don't but do it. It's what we had, and uh, like I said, what's the saying? Desperate times call for desperate measures. All I'm thinking about right now is how awkward it is to stand like this. I, th I feel like we're getting a family photo taken. Well, let's go back here. The uh, cinder block is under the center of gravity. Hi. Hi. And uh, that basically is going to distribute the wing or the weight amongst the whole airplane. Right. Okay? If it was nose heavy, obviously we'd be compensating in the back. Look at this landing gear. You like that? It's actually got air in it. That is a two by two and a six inch pneumatic tires blown up to about seven inches to hold the weight. This is crazy. So, pneumatic tires are nice because they can roll over stones. And if you guys ever seen a runway, we have a lot of stones. Yes. And why don't you tell them what these are? A uh, string right here. It's string. Yep. yep. And that is actually- That's our struts. Those are your struts. Those are your rigging. Back in old days, they had rigging to keep the wing rigid. The reason why it's uh, loose right now is when the wing has load on it, they'll tighten up, give us a little bit of that heat. Right. In the back, we have a little tiny tail wheel to eliminate friction. Right. Oh, uh, you think that's going to hold up? I think it'll be fine. It's I think just it'll be fine. a little guy. It's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Are you, uh, are you done? Yep. Okay. 
Going back to, uh, why don't we go back to the front end here? Yes. Now, we chewed up through a lot of props. We did it so you guys don't have to. Uh, but yeah, there they are, look at that. We started at 19 inch, and what is it, 1910 I believe? 1910, broke that, and we moved all the way up to 26, or 22.6, and we broke that. So right now we're sitting happily at a 2010. It gives us the ground clearance we need and enough thrust to get this thing off the ground, hopefully. So, well now they're really broken. You can't reuse them. Oh, good point. You never want to use a craft prop. Mm -hmm. So thank you for bringing that up, Josh. Sure. Being foam, it seems like it'd be a very flimsy, weak airplane, but it's braced right and I think it's gonna fly really, really good. This fuselage has gone through quite a few uh, tests and yeah. hasn't busted up on us yet. Okay. But well, hopefully it's gonna fly. Yeah, I'm not sure. You're doubtful, I'm huh? sure. Well, I just didn't do so well uh, before. I think with this new wing design, we're going to have some luck. Let's test it. Let's test it. Let's put it a flight test. test. Yeah. Let's test the flight. Yep. And, uh, and speaking of one thing I left out for you guys, this motor up here is a 270 kV motor. Now, most of the motors we fly are in the 1,000 kV mm -hmm. range. This is 270, real, real low end right. uh, RPM torque, but it swings a really big prop. Yeah. So uh, I forgot to mention that to you guys, but there's the information on that. So 270 kV. Okay. Now we're not going to get out of this door. No. We let's get out of this door. Let's go to that door. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. She's powered up with her seven cell. Lots of power. Lots of power. We gotta give it full throttle, right? We're gonna give it full throttle, and the wind is coming straight down this drive. That's why we picked this drive instead of the one we normally do. And also that'll give us a maximum area, hopefully once we get off the ground to uh, to fly it. Or you to, to push it like it last time? I don't think we'll need to. Yeah. If, we, if we don't get this attempt, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and try okay. the push technique. But I'd like to try to get off under its own, own power. So. Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk down here so in case it lifts off at the very end, I can actually still see the plane. And uh, let's do this. Okay. Wanna do it? Yes. Ready? Let's do it. Give her all she's got. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. Ah, lift off. We have lift off. Brick is flying. Uh, what do you think the chances are of getting a couple of mistakes high? Um, not very likely. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Good. There we go. <laughs> nice flight, buddy. Well, we have time for a second attempt, I guess. Yeah. Huh? Okay. All right, let's go get it. It's a long walk. Get it. This will be in one piece. Nice job. Man. Nice job. All right. You gonna unplug me? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Gotcha. I'll turn on the transmitter. Now, there's a good reason why I didn't try to do a full 360 turn. And uh, the reason is, is the wind was coming. We were taking off directly into the wind. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't high enough to feel comfortable. Once I turned with the wind, I knew I was gonna lose a little bit of altitude. Okay. And I wanted a second attempt at this thing. Right, you so didn't want to spiral down. I wanted to turn 90 degrees, but the, the truth of the matter is, is it did lift off the ground. And uh, it flew quite, quite easily. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little underpowered. Is it? Just a little bit underpowered. Need more. Yeah, we, we need more power, but uh, all in all, I think we met the challenge, and I think now it's time to see what it can do. Okay. Want to want to pull it back and yeah. try a longer run? Sure. All right. Actually, I think we should probably carry it back. Ah. Okay. All right. Try again. Yeah, we're gonna try it again. Try and get a little more flight out of it this time. Yep. Chad's back there. He's gonna guide me straight so I don't the rocks kind of turn yeah. a little bit here and there. So we're gonna yeah. see if we can get off again. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Ready? Good, Chad. Run like a gazelle. Ah, it's off. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, now do something cool with it, Josh. I'm trying. I'm... It's going far away. Oh, that looks a little bit rough. I think that was the end of it. <laughs> well, I thought it was going to be in pieces, Yeah. Well, but it's not. You got a little crack there. A little crack, sure. And, and I think I know what happened here. Um, the rigging wire here, probably wrapped around this tire, uh -huh. pulling that wing tip down and, and causing a crack. But gotcha. from what it looked like over there, you know, when we watched it. It didn't look that bad. It was, yeah, it was a lot better than I think. So yeah. I think we could repair it. Okay, but it's a we, nice plane. Yeah, you yeah. start carrying it at Hobby King? The Hobby King Brixler. Right? I, I like that, Brixler, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the first one's real light and airy, and this one's not. Right. Very cool, a little bit more advanced, huh? Well, you, you know what? I think we proved our point. I, I think we, we made a cinder block fly. It's time to move on. Okay. But who knows? Maybe we can uh, do something else with this later. Yeah, in the it'd future. be nice to see like some loops. Some loops would be good. Oh, that would be great. That'd but be we need more power, so. I like that idea. Yeah, more power is definitely necessary. All, All right. right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks, Hobby King, for the Brixler and uh, sponsoring this episode. Make sure you guys keep subscribing. 
and then let's put this guy back together. Yeah, let's All do right. it. This is flashing. Once it's hold still and locks in, there we go. Now the gyro is activated. All right. So right now you see I got normal control, but when I turn the gyro on and outside forces oppose it, the rudder moves on its own. See that? And the way you can tell if your gyros are hooked up properly is when you move it, the gyro should physically try to steer it back the other way. So if the nose goes this way, the rudder should try to steer it back there. If it goes with it, so it makes it more advanced, watch out. It's going to be a fun ride. Uh -oh. Like a kite. <laughs> it is. It's like you a big Yes. I feel like if the nose goes down, it's gonna. <laughs> 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 